Good day guys, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at the entrance of Darwin Museum and Art Gallery in Darwin City, Australia. This museum is one of the oldest museums in Australia and it is one of the most important tourist attractions in Northern Territory, Australia. In today's video, I am going to visit this museum, film this one and going to present to you guys. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's go inside. This is the entrance guys. They have COVID measures in place and we need to scan here for our check-in. The first thing we are looking at now are gastropods. You can see few shells in different size and different color. You can see a pearl inside one shell guys. These are called as songbirds and I reckon they can sing or sound like a song. Some doves and pigeons in Australia are shown here guys. There are different kind of them. You can see some colorful parrots on this side guys. Raptors are the next thing. It is said that there are 18 types of them in Australia. You can see few types of them here. You can also see few more birds here guys. All these are made up of original bird feathers and they are maintaining them. You can also see few reptiles here guys. Look at these moths and butterflies here. They are beautiful guys. It is said that there are 400 kinds of butterflies in Australia. They have shown few of them here. They are in different colors and beautiful. You can see dragons and goannas on this side guys. Look at the size of them guys. They are big lizards. Australia is home to more venomous snakes than any other continent guys. You can see few snakes in Australia exhibited here. You can see some small snakes on the bottom guys. Even though they are small, they are venomous. Look at this one here. It is a two colored snake guys. That fellow is beautiful. It is black headed python and that is common in Northern Territory. Here you can see some gemstones which are commonly available in Australia. Look at this painting guys. This one was painted by Australian indigenous people in one of the caves in Northern Territory in 1988. It is beautiful guys. You can see they have also painted about their hunting techniques. Look at this crocodile structure guys. The name of this crocodile is Sweetheart and it was caught in 1979 from Phoenix River in Northern Territory, Australia. It was 5.1 meter when it was caught and it was around 50 to 80 years at that time. This croc was aggressive in 1970 guys. It attacked and damaged several boats and tried to kill people too. You can see few photos there which were taken after they caught the crocodile. Also, there is a documentary video running in this TV screen which was filmed while they caught the crocodile. The next section we are going to visit now is transformations, the changing nature of the territory. Here you can see about our earth, the metals and minerals from our earth 
and weathering of rocks. On this side, you can see arthropods, guys. Look at the size of the crab there, guys. You can also see a spider and a grasshopper there, guys. Bugs, butterflies and moths are also shown here. There is also another big crab on the bottom, guys. That is called as coconut crab. Wow, look at here, guys. It is said that this shell can grow up to 80 cm. Can you believe that? In here, you can see some venomous reptiles, guys. Scorpions, millipedes and centipedes are here. There are a few venomous frogs on the top and few snakes on the bottom. Look at here guys, cane toad is large and more toxic venomous frog. There are some aquatic plants exhibited here. Some of them are also mentioned as venomous plants guys. You can see a lionfish on the top and a catfish below. It is said they both are mildly venomous guys. Stingray is shown here guys. We all know legend Steve Irwin was died by Stingray and there is venom in their tails. Look at the jellyfishes guys. They are all over in Australian sea. Some of them are venomous guys. Look at these two massive skeleton guys. These two animals lived in Australian continent 5 million years ago. That one is called as the Australian Miocene and this one is a skeleton of a giant goose. The details about them are shown here. You can see an ecosystem model here guys. It looks cool. On this side, you can see a mangrove ecosystem. The plants and animals live in the mangrove ecosystem are shown here. There are some skeletons of some other animals are shown on this side. This fish looks like a dolphin, but the actual name of this one is Chithioporus and those details are indicated there on the wall. There are also a few more animals shown here guys. You can have a look at them. Look at this huge termite mound guys, it is nearly 15 feet high and there are plenty of them in Northern Territory. Now you can see some models of fishes available in the Australian sea guys. Alright guys, the next section we are moving in is called as Cyclone Tracy. In 1974, Darwin City was affected by a cyclone called Tracy and it is still considered as one of the most destructive ever recorded in Australia. There were only 48,000 of people living in Darwin at that time. You can see some photographs of the Darwin City in 1974 guys. Here is a big railway signal tower exhibited which was broken due to cyclone Tracy. The cyclone broke an iron post guys. Just imagine how strong and destructive was that cyclone. Look at this video footage guys. This was filmed after the cyclone and you can see the destruction done by Tracy. 
you can see some more photos on this side which show how cruel was that cyclone Tracy. There are some newspaper articles pasted here which were on news during Cyclone Tracy. Look at here guys, there is a demo structure here which shows how a building or house would have affected during the Cyclone Tracy. Navy forces helped during and after the Cyclone their budgets are displayed and honored here guys. This is the new Darwin which was renovated and restored after the cyclone guys. Alright guys, the next section we are moving on now is called as unruly days. It is about how the life in Northern Territory was during the period 1911 to 1921. In this photo, you can see one of the Australian indigenous people, guys. You can see a few photos of the people and their lifestyle who lived in that time. Look at this camera, guys. It was used in 1910. Northern Territory was under South Australian government till 1911 and in 1911 it came under Commonwealth Government of Australia. It is mentioned here with the photos. You can see a hand fan here which was used during that period guys. There are a few more photos of the Australian indigenous people here. There are some dressers here which were used by the people during the period from 1910 to 1921. You can also see some cooking tools and equipment the people used during 20th century. This section says about how the transport facilities were during the early part of 20th century. Animals like bulls, Horses, camels were used for the transport and then the motor cars were introduced. There is also information about how the stocks and cattle were bred at that time. Hey guys, this is a ledger used by a shop from 1917 to 1925. See how they wrote and recorded all the transactions. This is the kind of typewriters available at that time no computer guys. You can see a rifle used during 1900s and few budgets on the bottom. Here you can see a shotgun and a revolver in this cage. Alright guys, the next section we are visiting is called as Telstra Netsia. This section has the paintings and artworks of Australian indigenous people. You can see few paintings at the entrance guys. There are different kind of paintings here guys and in the box next to the paintings you can see a description about the paintings. Look at this painting guys. It's a map drawn in a different style. You can also see some handmade dresses and bags by indigenous people. Look at this red color painting guys. It is about coronavirus and you can read that in the description here. There are more paintings in this place guys and each one of them are representing something. Look at this one. This is in snake shape. Look at these couple of sculptures guys, they are also portraying Australian indigenous culture. When you look this side, 
you can see few tools and equipment used for hunting by indigenous Australians. Look at this painting on a cloth guys. It is very beautiful. There are a lot of languages used by indigenous Australians. You can see an indigenous Australian singing in one of the languages in the TV screen there. There are a lot of crafts and sculptures here guys. They all look creative and beautiful. You can also see some handbags made from pandanus leaves. Look at this mask guys. They have painted this mask with a reflective paint. It's beautiful. The last section we are going to visit is a place where a few boats came to Northern Territory are kept. You can see those boats at the behind. Let's go there and have a look. Look at this boat guys. The name of this one is White Star and it came around 1950 to 1960 period. The name of the next boat is Kari Sema and it looks like a catamaran. This one came from Indonesia. The name of this one is called as Samasaja. This too came from Indonesia. Look at this colorful board guys. This one is also came from Indonesia. This is called as Terima Kasi. There are also many other boards here guys. You can have a look at them. These boards came here for several reasons and they couldn't go back. So they are still here and exhibited in this museum. Look at here guys. They have given some information about commercial fishing. Look at this monitor here guys. When you touch something here, you can learn about that. It is very cool. You can see few more boats and catamaran behind me guys. Look at that one. That is very colorful. This is a diving pump guys. It can be manually operated and it was used in early 19th century to supply oxygen for the people who dive into the sea in search for pearls. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys would have liked this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon for the future updates. I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.